All right, guys, we're back. We are getting ready to review a movie that was nominated for Best Picture here in uh, 2017 by the Academy Awards. And I've got Amber to help me with this particular review. The movie is called Lady Bird, and it stars, and I know I'm going to get her name wrong. She's got such a beautiful name. Cersei Ronan, is that? Sersha. Sersha. Sersha? Uh (laughs) Sersha Ronan, is that right? Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Beautiful name. Great actress. Mm -hmm. I mean... She's very, very young, but she has... I remember the first thing I saw her in. I saw her in uh, Atonement. Did you ever see that? Yes. I didn't realize she, she was, was in that. She was, a, um, she was just a little kid back in then, and she like stole that picture, and everything she's been in, she has been top-notch. And Lady Bird, Amber, I didn't like it. Well... I didn't like it. What's, what's wrong? I man? understand why you didn't like it. I mean, if you like a plot-driven movie, mm-hmm. you're not going to like Lady Bird. Because right. Because it's not doesn't really have a story it's just you're just a fo- series of scenes right you're just following this this uh um this young person who is uh she's in high school correct right. she is um she's a little different she's not in the popular crowd she's trying to find her place basically correct and um she's uh she's uh attracted to this one boy and she finds out some stuff about him and then she finds uh attraction in another boy and then she's got her deals with her mom who's a little eccentric and everybody in this movie is eccentric and and crazy and i just i couldn't get into this film it was very very slow to me yeah you know it's one of those kind of coming of age kind of movies Mm -hmm. you know very character driven with Mm -hmm. her and you know, like I said, if you if you need a plot driven movie, this is not the movie for you. Right. But I did kind of like some aspects of it, like the um, dynamic between her and her mom. I felt like there were very realistic portrayals of those kind of dynamics. And I think that's what I, I was reading a lot of uh, user reviews and and other reviews, and I think that's what people really liked about this movie was the it uh, being very real realistic. Because mm-hmm. I even though this has nothing to do with me, I'm not a 17 year old female, you know. So obviously, it's not meant to. Um, interests me but i like movies like juno i like movies like the edge of 17 coming of age movies uh, uh for young females in those movies but for the but i was expecting more i guess from the script i thought it was going to be funnier and there are funny scenes in this film it just didn't get me like those other two films did yeah but they're not really haha funny <laughs> right. kind of scenes i right. mean it's just kind of like a huh <laughs> kind yeah. of funny but you know like the scene with her her mom and her in like the dressing room they're like trying on clothes like sure. i can see that happening like i yeah. remember things like that happening with me and my mom and so that's yeah. what i liked about the movie and that i felt like some of that was really real but then there were other parts that just seemed to drag and felt disjointed and but the funny thing is is this was one of the most highly rated movies uh, reviewed of of 2017 I know. people like loved it <laughs> they like, went crazy for it yeah and i i never got that I mean, I understand you saying, yeah, it's a good movie, but I don't understand you loving yeah. it. Um, Greta Gerwig uh, was the lady who wrote this film and directed it, and she actually was uh, nominated uh, for Best uh, Director for this. What yeah. did you think about, do you think she did a good job with this film? Yeah, I mean, I think I think she did a good job. I mean, she wrote the mm-hmm. wrote it also, I think. Right. I think she wrote the screenplay. But So, I mean, it was obviously her film from start to finish. Sure, sure. Um, so, I mean, I'm sure she had tons of ownership over it, and everyone just like saying her praises over and over again. I wonder if they just didn't want to nominate a woman. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I felt like maybe that could be part of it, too. Yeah. Um, I always look at the politics. <laughs> <laughs> what about Lori Metcalf? Oh, I thought she was great. She's awesome. She was great in this movie. Yeah. Uh, she plays her mom, and, you know, she's very, very eccentric and very kind of honest with her, too. You know, it's you know something you wouldn't normally see with a lot of parents talking to their kids. You know, like she was wearing a dress, like you said, and you're going to wear that or, you know, yeah. one of those kind of things. Um, so... Very, very honest. I but thought you know, she did a great job. There's a scene, though, like near the end of the movie, and mm. they've got a very conflicted relationship throughout the whole film. But near the end of the movie, and she's like saying goodbye to her if she goes off to college, mm. like the way that Laurie Metcalf was able to to demonstrate that kind of sadness yeah. when she's like letting her daughter go. I mean, I thought that was an excellent moment from her. Very, very good point. Um, you know, we talk about uh, rewatchability with a lot of these movies. Lady Bird for you, is this a rewatchable movie? Yeah, I saw enough. Yeah, I agree. I'm 100% <laughs> with Amber on this one. It's a good movie. It's um, yeah, good writing, good acting, but uh, still very very slow (laughs) it's a slow movie so if that's uh if that's your bag then definitely check it out if not maybe it's one to skip for sure slow movies are your bag (laughs) (laughs) if they are check it out if not 
Pass it out, man. All right. It's called Lady Bird, and you can find it on DVD. Coming up after the break, we're going to animation, and we're going to check out the brand new Hotel Transylvania. It's coming your way next on the screen team.